Let's go back to capitalism go ahead. and whether go ahead. capitalism is going to really flourish or not. You think there are a lot of people out there. I've seen CEOs of both sides. I've been in companies with CEOs of both types. I mean, you, you know Tom Murphy. Uh, you uh, know Dan Burke. I got they were the from most, them. they were fabulous leaders. They were good, they were good. fabulous. And that's how I learned business. I've also been in companies run by other people that hasn't right. run quite as well. Exactly. And the outside world often can't tell the difference. I'll give you a simple rule. You want the guy that wants to be CEO to get something done as opposed to the guy who wants to be CEO so he can say he's CEO. How do you tell the difference? Sometimes you don't know until you make the decision. But when you make a mistake, pull a plug. What was, what was the board of directors for, the GE, in my opinion? How many years did they need before the thing went into horrible disrepair? What a tragedy. The story that I read a couple weeks ago was about a man who worked in an appliance plant in Illinois. It was in the Wall Street Journal. And this man had put all of his money over the years he worked at GE and GE stock. Mm. And he had $700,000 worth of stock. And now he's got $200,000 worth of stock. Same number of shares. And now he's worrying about how he's going to live in his, in his old age. Does he have to go back to work? I have to remember one thing as a capitalist. My decisions are going to impact a whole, whole lot of people right. that are betting on me doing the right thing. That's the awesome responsibility we have as capitalists. 400,000 people at Home Depot today go to work every day. They're well paid. They got the, the thing I love most about our company, we have 3,000 kids just got out of high school, barely out of high school. They started pushing carts in in the lot. That's their job. Mm -hmm. Ready? Yeah. They're multimillionaires today. That's capitalism as it's supposed to work. Okay, so indulge me a second. Go ahead. I read your book, loved every bit of it. There was one page that was my favorite. We're going to put it up right here. Go ahead. I, got, I went right to it. That's him in the middle, Tom Murphy uh, with Ken Langone, uh, my old boss, the longtime chairman and CEO of Capital Cities ABC. The most humble, <clears throat> yes. self effacing. Let me tell you what happened with him and Burke one day. Dan Burke was his number two. And they were both, they were out of the same pod. Yeah, they were. Murphy walks into Burke and said, you know, uh, uh, Dan, I've been CEO for a long time. Sure. How about you taking over and I'll take your job? They flipped. They didn't care. They wanted to get the job. By the way, the other pick guy in yeah. the picture there, yeah. Bob Grossman, right. look at what he's done at that fabulous medical center down on 34th Street. Yeah. Look at what he's done in 11 years. Do you realize the ratings just came out? And our medical school ranks yeah. number three in America. Harvard's yeah. one, Hopkins is two. All I would tell Hopkins and Harvard, you better turn around and watch your back because we're moving. Okay. Well, this guy Grossman, he's. But by the way, Tom Murphy was yeah. a former chairman of the. No, he was. Side. He loved it. Wonderful man. Loves it.